Hey CrossFit Heath, <clears throat> it's Coach Adam here. Uh, we're gonna go through your Saturday workout for April 25th. Um, so let's jump right into the warm up. For your warm up, you're gonna have you're gonna go through three rounds, nice and slow, three different movements. Um, you're gonna start with five dumbbell deadlifts, uh, five dumbbell eye level swings, and five single dumbbell full swings. So on uh, the dumbbell, you're just working with one hand at a time. Um, just choose a light dumbbell. Uh, and on those dumbbell deadlifts, uh, if you watch um, CrossFit HQ or CrossFit Training uh, put out a quick tutorial video on the dumbbell deadlift that's really good. Um, and if you'll just Google CrossFit Training or go to their, uh, their Instagram page uh, or YouTube CrossFit Training, uh, then you can see it. But essentially what you're thinking about with a dumbbell deadlift is that suitcase deadlift. Um, you want the dumbbell to uh, travel right down your leg and you're going to kind of aim for your toe. Um, so you want it a little bit in front of your ankle at the bottom. Um, you don't want to kind of, um, you don't want that dumbbell to go right down beside your ankle so that you're having to flex your spine that way. You want to be able to push your hips back, um, bend slightly at the knee and do a regular deadlift movement. Okay, so if you think about a barbell, the barbell is going to finish a little bit in front of your ankle, so you need to do the same thing with um, a dumbbell. So five reps of that, um, and then five dumbbell eye level swings. That's just a Russian swing. And if you don't have dumbbells and you want, to, you would rather use a kettlebell. Works the same way uh, for today. For today's workout, a dumbbell and a kettlebell are interchangeable. Okay, and then five single dumbbell full swings. Again, that's just a full, like a full kettlebell swing. You're just going right overhead. Um, Remember that on swings, we don't want to let, whether you're using a kettlebell or a uh, dumbbell, you don't want that, uh, that weight to drag your shoulders down so that your hands go through your, through your legs. Um, so I like to, my cue, I like to go uh, wrist to thigh. Once my wrist touches my thigh, that's my cue to bend my knees, extend my hips, and pop that, that kettlebell or dumbbell back up. So move through that for three rounds. Um, nice and slow, you don't have to speed through it. And then when you're done, your workout for today is actually a team of three workouts. So I know we're quarantined right now, so um, I know a lot of you will need to modify this workout. So here's what I would do. If you're working out alone, then I would um, change this 20 minute AMRAP into an 18 minute EMON. And just do the three minutes as um, uh, minute a minute worth of work each one and then just move around move through them for six rounds so but our RX workout is a 20 minute AMRAP partner one is going to be the pace setter so you're going to start off partner one is going to do eight single arm Russian kettlebell swings or you can use a dumbbell um, and then 12 uh, full kettlebell swings okay and if you'll notice it says eight slash eight that means eight on the left eight on the right and then finish with 12 full swings. Once partner one is done with that, um, then partner two can go ahead and start and partner uh, partner one is going to then go to max sit-ups. Okay, When partner one has finished, or I mean, I'm sorry, when partner two has finished their eight um, single arm swings and 12 full swings, partner one has to move on to the calorie bike, okay? So whoever is on the kettlebell slash dumbbell, you are the pace setter, okay? When you finish your work, that's when the other partners have to rotate, okay? So if you have a really fast partner, um, you may not get very many sit-ups in that, that go around. If someone takes a really long time on the, the swings, then you may get a lot of sit-ups in. Uh, but whoever's at the first station, is the one who dictates how long the others are at the other station, okay? Um, and uh, if you don't, um, if that seems kind of confusing, just make sure you read the directions on Wattify before you jump into it. But again, if you are working out alone, um, I would just recommend change it to an EMOM, do it for you know, 15, 18 minutes, so five or six rounds, you should be good to go, okay? Um, but again, partner one, starting off with the swings. Um, once you finish, you move on, the partners behind you will follow, but nobody moves on, mo nobody rotates until the partner who's on the swings, the kettlebell swings, is done with their reps, okay?
So you'll go through that for 20 minutes, um, 20 minutes straight. And then um, for, uh, we've got another additional workout, another option for those of you who don't have the availability to work with partners. It is a 20 minute AMRAP of 16 backpack Russian swings. Um, if you don't want to use a backpack, but you have a kettlebell, feel free to substitute that in. 16 hollow rocks and 16 alternating backpack lunges. Again, you can substitute a kettlebell there, just hold it in the goblet style um, and uh, do a regular lunge. On those lunges, feel free to go forwards or backwards. I like to do backwards lunges because it's a little bit less intense on my knees. Um, and so you'll just rotate through uh, those reps for 20 minutes. Um, on the Russian swing, remember that's just eye level. Um, but one thing to think about on uh, whether you're doing a Russian swing or a full swing with a kettlebell or a dumbbell is as you're coming out of the swing, okay, as you're extending your hips, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt. You want to activate your posterior chain. We talked about the posterior chain a couple times. You want to activate those glutes, activate those hammies when you are swinging the kettlebell up. Okay, um, and then make sure that we are keeping our spine neutral, um, that you're not rounding those shoulders, rounding that back um, as you swing. Okay, um, on the hollow rocks, I know hollow rocks are a little bit uh, difficult for some athletes. Feel free um, to bring your hands in. Okay, so you can hold your hands in front of you, and also feel free to bend your knees um, in the hollow rock. Uh, you don't have to stay completely extended if that is too intense for you. Um, you should be able to do those hollow rocks in about two, two to three sets um, each time, even if you're fatigued, and get through those 16 reps. But one hollow rock is rocking forward and backwards. That's one, two, three, four, etc. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Well, uh, again, stay safe, uh, keep working, and we look forward to having y'all back in the gym. I'll see y'all later, guys.